Okay, welcome everybody. The Senate will now be called to order. First, I just wanna go over how questions and voting will be done. So just to go over, we'll be voting with um, the nonverbal feedback, but this time it's under reactions uh, with this new Zoom update. So in order to vote or raise your hand, um, you go to the reactions window and that should bring up uh, the yes, no, slower, faster and raise hand feature. So if you have any questions or comments or motions you'd like to make, use the raise hand feature and wait to be um, acknowledged by the chair. And as for voting, um, we'll be using raise hand for yes, no for opposed and go slower for abstain. And just a reminder that since this meeting is being recorded, private messages are made public in the transcript. And also a reminder that everyone, every Senator does need to vote. Members of the public, please refrain from using uh, the chat or the reactions. And if you have any questions, for the members of the public. If you have any questions or comments, suggestions, please wait until the hearing of the public at the end of Senate. And then once we've had the vote, everyone, please remove your vote. I'll also be trying to clear the votes um, right after everybody does vote. Uh, so if you have any questions, comments, or motions, make sure to raise your hand again. Um, and since this meeting is being held online, one land acknowledgement can't capture the richness of where everyone is across the US and around the globe. And since ASG is a body under the University of San Diego, I would like to share the land acknowledgement that is used at USD. And I also invite all of you today to consider your own positionality with regard to where you find yourselves today. I want to acknowledge that the land on which we gather is the traditional and unceded territory of the Kumeya Nation. I wanna pay respect to the citizens of the Kumeya Nation, both past and present, and their continuing relationship to their ancestral lands. Thank you. The Clerk of Senate will now take roll. Thank you. Um, happy Tuesday, everyone. Okay, so uh, first off, Adria Armienta. Here. Okay. Alana Del Torre. Here. Thank you. Alexa Andrade. Here. Thank you. Angelo Tharp. I'll come back. Okay. Benjamin Tebow. Here. Thank you. Brooke Powell. Proxy for Brooke Powell. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, Cecilia Byron. Here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll go back to that. Okay, Daniela Pena. Here. Thank you. Elena Cruz. Here. Thank you. Ezra Wheeler. Here. Thank you. Fantasy Bias. Here. Thank you. Lauren Fetes. Here. Madeline Wu. Here. Thank you. Uh, Max Donahoe. Here. Thank you. Megan Womack. Here. Okay. Mia Soto. Here. Thank you. Sabrina Mendoza. Here. Thank you. Sean Kenny. Here. Thank you. Thomas Riley. Here. Okay. And then Tiana Fee. Here. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is approval of today's agenda. Are there any motions? Ceci? 
Um, yes, I move to amend the agenda to add the presentation of the new and re registering student orgs as a second line item to new business. Second. There is a motion on the floor having been seconded to add line item um, presentation of new and re registering student orgs under new business. Is there any further discussion? If not, please cast your votes. Thank you, motion passes. Are there any motions in regard to approval of today's agenda? Sorry, I had to lower um, the votes. So are there any motion in regard to today's agenda? Sabrina? I move to approve today's agenda. Second. Thank you. There is a motion on the floor having been seconded to approve today's agenda. Um, is there any further discussion? AJ, do you have? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No problem. Uh, if there is no further discussion, please cast your votes. If for some reason you don't have the raise hand feature, you can use the yes, because I know there's some complications with those who have and haven't updated. Thank you. Motion passes. The agenda has been approved. I'm moving on to next item, approval of the minutes from last week's meeting. Are there any motions in regards to the minutes? Ben? I move to approve the minutes from last week's meeting. Second. There is a motion on the floor having been seconded to approve the minutes from last week's meeting. Is there any further discussion? If not, please cast your votes. Ceci, could you please cast your vote? Thank you. Motion passes. The minutes have been approved. Thank you. Moving on to report from me. Um, so there will be no Senate next week because it's the Akala Bazaar, um, which will be Tuesday and Thursday. Um, Committee meetings will still be happening. Advisor meetings should still be happening. So make sure that you are attending committee meetings still and uh, meeting up with your advisor. Um, and then also there will be training. There's training for ASG last Friday and there will be training for ASG these next two Fridays. If you have any questions, uh, send me an email. And then Vacancies, there are some new vacancies. So there's one at large position, one school of engineering position, one UTA slash PTA's position, two VISTAs positions, one Valley C position, one Valley A position, one Manchester position, one commuter position. And I'm still taking um, senators who are interested in filling the health and wellness coordinator position. So if you're interested in being health and wellness coordinator, um, feel free to private message me or shoot me an email. Moving on to reports from committee chairs and coordinators. AJ, you have the floor. Hi everyone. So uh, same thing goes. Academic grants are still up for, uh, are still up for acceptance. Um, 
the academic grants are going the applications are going to close on February 26. So that's a Friday at the end of February. Um, if anybody has any questions, we are updating websites. We know we're getting a lot of messages regarding like differences between academic grants and creative grants. Um, just email asgacademics at sandiego.edu if you have any questions. And then we're going to talk a little bit more about our standards of virtual learning resolution later in Senate. Um, Inclusion, Diversity, and Equity Committee um, has no updates at this time. Hi, y'all. Um, today we'll be approving or presenting um, one new student org. The Student Life Committee has no updates at this time. Um, I also have no updates at this time. Hello, everybody. So on Wednesday, um, there's a meeting with Maria Silva about ASG potentially investing into some small business food vendor contracts. Um, there will be more after the meeting, and it could possibly be an agenda item in the future. So just keep that on your radar. Um, also, because it's the start of a new semester, I would really love it if you would repost the Aussie TikTok on Instagram so we can keep um, eating food at the SLP, but sustainably. I'm also working on a specific set of purchasing guidelines for ASG to follow when we use ASG funds. And this would need to be approved by Senate later on in the future. So that is what I'm working on. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, so I do have some updates here um, on the document. My first update is um, we have a growing committee from Universal Design Ad Hoc Committee. Um, so I know that last semester I um, gave y'all a form to fill out if you're interested. I will be reaching out to the folks who already did fill out that form. But again, if y'all are interested, here's the Google form in the chat. Um, anyone can join senators, non-senators, if you're part of another committee. Um, it's really just open to um, folks who are just interested in universal design awareness or even accessibility um, at USD. So feel free to fill that out. I will be making or uh, reaching out to everyone who fills it out um, today after Senate and we'll be making a consistent time where we're meeting each week. So please bear with me. Um, I'm super excited though. And also I do want to mention um, trigger warning. This is a passing of uh, staff at USD. Um, Dr. Melissa, Hart, Melissa Halter um, has an event or has passed and we are having an event for her. Um, it's, I just got the Facebook invite, so I don't, I don't know if um, the school is actually doing something or if this is from just like students from the school. I know that GES, GESC, um, the student organization has been really active in um, sending students reminders and um, just like the link. So if you would like to come to that, event. It will be happening Thursday, February 4th um, at 1 p.m. PST. Um, and there is a Zoom link. So if you would like that link, um, please reach out to me directly. Um, I don't have the link right now, so I won't be posting it. Um, but yes, so feel free to come and also send it to other um, folks if they're interested and share with folks. Um, as for projects that we're doing, we are collaborating with the Academics Committee, um, as the previous senator mentioned. So we will be um, sharing more about resolutions that are coming up on top of some um, data and some surveys that we would like y'all to fill out. Um, and then the accessibility concerns and support needed form is always open to everyone. Um, I will make sure to get that link and post it in the chat as well. Um, but that is an active resource that anyone can use to disclose any um, negative or even positive um, or neutral experiences that they've had around accessibility at USD and potentially any support that they might need. I am checking it actively, um, but it is very new. And so I will be putting that link in the chat. Feel free to send that to your constituents, to um, any students on campus, um, even faculty and staff or professors if they have any um, concerns or they don't really know what resources to go to. Um, and it's just really helpful so we can 
reach out and we can also have um, experiences be shared and also supportive. So thank you. Thank you. The next item on our agenda are reports from ASG executive board members. Joey, you have the floor. Thank you, Maya. Hello, everyone. A uh, long time no see. I know it's been a little bit of a shorter gap in between sentence, but happy to see you all again. Um, not too many updates. Just want to let you know that um, Jen has provided me with some new information uh, regarding the endowment scholarship. So we're gonna, I'm going to be meeting with her uh, to see how we could allot those funds, go through the application process. So it should be pretty straightforward. And um, we'll get the ball rolling on that. Um, and then I, uh, next week, commencement committee will be meeting. We'll have some representatives from um, the exec board go attend. So that should be exciting. Um, that's creeping up soon. Um, and then pretty soon, uh, I'll be meeting with VP Vasquez just to catch up to see what's going on. Um, with regards to student life. And then one more update, um, we are almost almost there at scheduling a meeting with um, our first organization. I'll drop the name in the chat. So that's it. Yeah. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Uh, unfortunately, Justin can't be here today, but um, he has no new updates. Hi, everyone. I also have no new updates, but I wanted just to keep the information up. Um, if anything, once again, if you have anything you'd like included in next week's Blue Buzz, just get it to me by the end of tomorrow with a one or two sentence blurb um, and or a flyer. And that's it. Uh, hey everyone, my updates are kind of long this week or they look long, but they're not that much. Uh, the first one, as usual, the judicial branch checks and balances. You can email me or reach out to any other member of the judicial branch if you have any like questions regarding uh, just clarifications in the constitution and whatnot, or if you have a question about things going on in ASG that you've heard about, that you're you know, questioning the processes of that stuff, um, you hear this every week, so you're used to it by now. The second is the Senate apportionment for next school year. So it's the judicial branch's job as the elections committee to decide how um, Senate next year is gonna be apportioned. So we've had the usual academic breakdown, which is the same as this year in residential. Um, the only thing that really changes from this year to uh, next year is that Camino Founders will be back online. So instead of Valley C, you would have back uh, Camp Bound and Valley A will be grouped with SAPs. Um, and then you have eight commuters and seven at large. Um, so this, especially the residential one is based just on what we know of housing right now. But for the next one, we have the election timeline and I also added the appointed position timeline. Um, they kind of go hand in hand. Um, so the elections start March 8th, and that's just when you can take your the virtual informational, and that goes until March 19th, so two weeks. Um, and then you have campaigning, which spans from the week before uh, spring break all the way to after spring break. It's like three weeks, so a long time. Um, primary voting and whatnot is just in case there are more than two presidential and or vice presidential candidates, um, but final voting for President, Vice President, and 25 senators, about 25 senators, will be um, on April 15th to the 16th. And then we have kind of a bit of a gap between swearing in, because I believe Senate that uh, week will be on a Tuesday. Um, for the appointed timeline, in case any of you are interested in joining the judicial branch, um, uh, exec, any of those other positions, um, the informationals will last basically from when they open on March 8th all the way until applications are due in mid-April. And interviews are gonna happen the week after, I believe, um, election to happen. So that full week will be a bunch of interviews for exec positions, the judicial branch and whatnot. Um, and then you're sworn in on May 4th, uh, same as everyone else. So if you have any questions, you can ask me, um, but yeah, it's here if you need it. And that's all. Fantasy. Um, I just had a question of a clarification, I guess, of if Camino and Founders had two senators or just one representing the separate buildings? Um, Camp Found just has one. Fantasy. Is there a way to maybe make it two? I don't, I'm just thinking of like the separation of the buildings and if it's like a, if folks from like, Camino are able to really represent funders. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, but maybe it's something we could think about. Um, 
Um, I kind of see them as two separate movies, but. Well, this, in this presentation, this is kind of presented as like, I don't want to say final because of course things can always change. Um, but Canton has always been one, at least back from even when I was a freshman and I assume before in the old constitution. Um, I think it's the job of a senator is to talk to your constituents. So if you're a guy living in Camino, it's your job to talk to the girls living in Founders, um, as is the job of a senator. So I think asking them to do their job, in my opinion, um, is perfectly fine. So, I mean, if you have more feedback, I can bring it back to the group. Uh, today, no update for me. Hi, everyone. I also don't have any new updates, but just some reminders that the Alcala Bazaar is next week, and we will be under the special interest category on Thursday. Again, if you do want to help table and be present under ASG, just private message me. And along with the elections committee, if you're interested in being part of the committee and kind of being behind the scenes of what Enaya just mentioned, um, also please private message me. And lastly, we are open for any marketing requests. So um, please let us know if there's any content that you would like for us to create. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, I have no new updates, but as always, I will be issuing Grubhub credits after this meeting. And if you are a member of the public, please put down your email into the chat so I can um, get those credits to you as well. Thank you. Um, so first item under old business is appointment of speaker pro temp. And I discussed the judicial branch's decision in my email that you all received yesterday. Um, but I'll hand the floor over to our parliamentarian, Sarah, to just update y'all on judicial branch's decision. Thanks, Mariah. So uh, the judicial branch met after Senate last Thursday to clarify the appointment process uh, for the vacancy. And our goal was to remain consistent. Um, so we decided that the most appropriate and um, efficient way to do it was for the Speaker of the Senate to appoint someone that they deem uh, appropriate to fill the vacancy of Speaker Pro Temp. And then uh, that appointment would just be confirmed by the Senate with a two thirds majority vote. And judicial branch has already made a note about uh, changing it in the bylaws and constitution. So we'll work on that. But for now, that's the standing process. Thank you, Sarah. So sorry, y'all. There are just changes made to the Google Slides that we want to make sure are reflected um, on the Google Slides. So if currently dealing with that. Thank you, Amanda, for the closed captioning showing up. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, so um, I'm still suggesting fantasy bias for um, speaker pro tem, um, but there would have to be a motion by a senator and a vote to make that happen. Lauren? I move to approve the appointment of fantasy as, pre as speaker pro tem. Second. Second. Thank you. There is a motion on the floor having been seconded to appoint fantasy bias as speaker pro tem. Is there any further discussion? If not, please cast your votes.
Thank you, motion passes. Congrats, fantasy. Let's all welcome our new speaker pro tem, yay. Thank you. And moving on to our first item under new business is a discussion on resolution demands for equitable uh, remote learning environment and fantasy um, and Sabrina, the floor is yours. Thank you, Maya, and thank you, everyone. I'm really excited and honored to be in that position as well as you know doing other things. So um, this discussion, um, I kind of want y'all to maybe, you don't have to pay attention to the title too much. We're not gonna be presenting the resolution today. Um, this is more just to kind of um, let y'all know that we will be sending out a survey. Um, it's just somewhat of a quick survey on Google Form. Um, and it's gonna be in the chat right now. And this is the collaboration from the Academic Committee and the Universal Design Ad Hoc Committee. Um, it's based just around, you know, the, the um, how students have been um, taking virtual learning. So in the past year. And so we're gonna do this, um, we're gonna send out the survey and we wanted to give y'all time to fill it out as senators. And also once you're done filling it out, um, sending it to your constituents or after sending it, send, after Senate, sending it to your constituents. Um, and then just really any students and all students, your friends, anyone um, that feels comfortable or is wanting to kind of disclose how their virtual learning has been. And I just wanted to be transparent with y'all. What we did um, is that this, um, the data you present or you're giving in the Google form, um, it, although it, will, it won't be attached to any names, like we won't take personal stories and add folks' names to the resolution or anything, um, the data will be used in the resolution. Um, so just give it your honest, um, honest feedback and uh, just as much as you can and thinking about and reflecting not only on your, your time this semester or last semester, but also last year as we transition into virtual learning. So thank you. Um, a senator just put the Google Doc or the form in the chat. And so if y'all can take the time, um, I, I think we have about 10 minutes or so or however much time um, we are going to give to letting y'all fill out this survey, but at least 10 minutes. So y'all can fill it out on your time right now. Hopefully y'all will take the time to do that. And then, like I said, sending it out and sharing it to as many students on campus as possible. Um, I know that may seem pretty vague and we didn't want to fully like go into our resolution to cause any bias or anything. It's really just how the semester has been for you. Either it could be super amazing or super just not it. So um, just fill it out with your honesty. And this goes for everyone, exec, literally anyone that takes classes at USD, please feel free to fill, fill it out. Um, that goes for members of the public as well, if that's okay. Um, but definitely senators, if you can fill this out. And so I will stop talking. Sabrina, if you wanna say anything, um, but we're gonna give y'all time to fill this out. I just wanted to say like, this is your opportunity to have your voice amplified. Um, we really want to hear what you have to say and what your experience was. And I get that it's been a lot, <laughs> you know, and it'd be really nice just to hear what you've been going through and what resources maybe you would like to be provided because my experience may be different than yours. And so I wanna know what your experience was. So this is really your chance to have that power and we really wanna amplify your voices and that's our goal and intention with that. And so if you feel like you can't maybe go into all of it right now, you can always come back to the survey and type in more stuff. Like we would love that. Or if you would prefer to like email and talk with us or do a Zoom meeting, like we're open to that as well if you have a preferred medium. Um, but we're really grateful for you guys taking the time to do this. It means a lot, it's very helpful. And we are excited about this resolution, but again, we don't want to talk too much about it because we want to also hear what you guys have to say, just based off your own lived experience. Thank you.
So just to clarify, um, we did want senators to try to fill it out right now. Um, if you don't feel comfortable um, answering the second question that says, yeah, how have your constituents felt, um, then you can wait and fill it out maybe just after you send it out to them. I know personally, I have heard from some of my constituents that about certain answers and towards certain ways. So if you have not heard anything, um, that's totally fine to wait to fill it out. Um, but if you have heard anything, you can definitely fill it out right now. So yeah, if y'all feel comfortable filling it out right now, we urge y'all and encourage y'all to fill it out um, just so you can take this time so you don't have to take other uh, time out of your day another time. Um, but like Ari said, it will be in the minutes. And so if you ever need to refer back to it or get the link, or you can even save the link um, here in the chat, and then you can do that. And we'll probably give about another three or so minutes to um, dedicate in Senate. Thank you, everyone. And I think we should be good to move on. And feel free to, again, send it out to your constituents. Um, we might even work with some um, other committees or even the marketing committee to potentially get this out on a broader level and on social media platforms. Thank you. Moving on to our next item under new business is presentation of a new student org by Senator Brooke. The floor is yours, Brooke. Hi, um, Brooke actually couldn't make it today, so I'm gonna be presenting for her. But um, the new student org is called Students for Sensible Drug Policy, and their mission statement is educating the student body on the risks and most recent studies on drug usage. They're part of a national chapter whose goal is to lobby for smart drug education so students are informed on a variety of drugs that they may be exposed to. 
And their goals are to educate the student body about the drugs that are more commonly used at the college age. And their next goal is also to extend the alcohol and drug awareness programs that USD already has. This club will have meetings like having specific speakers in the field, as well as breaking down recent scientific studies on the effects and risk of certain drugs. They also have an emphasis on drug policy and minority communities and how to improve those relationships. Are there any questions or motions? Sabrina? This is just a question. So just clarifying, the club is for students to just be educated. And so if they were having any issues related to drugs, they would give them resources for it outside of the club. Like the club itself doesn't provide those specific resources. Does that make sense? Yes. But yeah, they would just give resources for going elsewhere because they don't think they have the credentials. Okay, that's what I was confused about. Perfect, thank you. Are there any other questions or motions regarding students for sensible drug policy? Sean? I move to approve students for sensible drug policy. Second. There's a motion on the floor having been seconded to approve students for sensible drug policy. Is there any further discussion? If not, please cast your votes. Thank you, motion passes. The student work has been approved. Okay, moving on to final business and hearing of the public. At this time, any senator may take from the table any motion previously laid on the table in the meeting the week before or present urgent business. Any member of the public may voice any concerns to the assembly on non-agenda items. Sabrina. I just wanted to share this event that's happening through the Changemaker Hubs about um, virtual education and kind of what uh, a workshop about kind of what we can do to improve it. So I just wanted to put that in the chat because senators may be interested to hear from their constituents and faculty as well. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Avery. Good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to remind you that the uh, request for students to ask for additional funding for technology support, what have you, um, that may help them this semester with their remote learning or any other things that they've been affected by the pandemic um, is certainly open. I will drop that in the chat again. Um, feel free to share that with your constituents. So far, we've responded to 65 requests this semester. Thank you, Dr. Avery. Jen? Hi, everyone. Good to see you all. Um, uh, Dr. Avery, thank you for sharing that update. Uh, just so you all know, it's also referenced in an email that you all received from the university. Uh, but I would try to like say, like take the link, save it as a favorite so you have it accessible to you all. Um, whenever you need it or whenever you're speaking to people. So it's just something that you have, um, you know, uh, saved uh, for your references. Um, also, uh, I'm happy to report, well, for some of you who may be interested that the UTAs is gonna be going through a revision and a renovation. And for those of you who aren't familiar, the UTAs is the University Terrace Apartments and they're right next door to Pacific Ridge and they're an on-campus 
housing area. So there's gonna be an update and we need uh, student feedback. Uh, I really am excited to um, seek out uh, people who might be interested in reimagining and re-looking at what the UTAs could be like for students who um, are fortunate to live there in the future. Um, so uh, there's gonna be a feedback session um, the date has changed to exact, just so you all know if you're interested. We're having it on Thursday, uh, February 11th from 3 to 4.30. You don't have to be there the entire time, but we're working with a group um, that uh, will be uh, working on this project. So we want students, um, is anybody interested? It's Thursday, February 11th from 3 to 4.30. Any hands or uh, put your names in the chat fantasy? Great, um, I'll invite you to that. Anyone else? Madeline, is, is that a hand raise? Okay, great. Anyone else? Um, if anyone's interested in going but is not available at that time, please uh, uh, put your name in the chat as well. There's other offering, there's other times available and I'm happy to work with you all individually on that. Um, so just let me know, but this is like, this is a great time, you know, not to like stress on it, but the university wants student feedback. They want to hear what you all have to say. They want to be able to like take it in. And so this is just like one of the opportunities to do that. So please, I encourage you to offer that up, even if it doesn't maybe necessarily impact you all. I'm sure you've heard about the UTAs. I'm sure you all talked about it. Um, so it would be great to hear that, but I'll put Fantasy and Madeline down. Um, unless you had your hand up to uh, speak. So I, Madeline, just let me know. <laughs> oh, okay, cool, cool. Okay, that's it. Um, good to see you all. And don't forget about training on Friday for those of you who are in ASG. Um, good to see you all. AJ. I move to adjourn. Second. There's a motion on the floor having been seconded to adjourn today's meeting. Is there any further discussion? If not, please cast your votes. Thank you, motion passes. Today's meeting has been adjourned. Thank you, everyone.